While there is no legislation yet that requires a replacement for high lead solders in discrete, high power applications, chances are there may be soon. That's why Henkel developed multi-core DA100 die attached solder paste, a true drop-in replacement flux medium that can bridge the high lead to lead-free divide. In fact, you can use DA100 today for your high lead process and incorporate the same flux system with whatever lead-free alloy you choose should your requirements change. It's that simple. Here, we will discuss the potential impact of ROHS ROSE legislation and how DA100 can help with a seamless transition. Dr. Mark Curry explains. High power discrete components most often use high lead soft solders because of their high melting points. Currently, these materials are exempt from ROHS directives through to the end of 2013. But actually, they may align with the end of life vehicles, the ELV directive, which may be put out in 2014. But legal possibilities aside, many forward thinking companies are already considering how to effectively transition to lead free processes ahead of these mandated changes. The challenge? To find lead free material solutions that are as effective as today's high lead solders. Henkel has responded with the development of a flux medium that offers consistent cleanability, reliability, dispensability, and void free interconnects, regardless of the alloy selection. DA100 is a true drop in replacement and allows power device package specialists to make an alloy change quickly and easily. DA100 is part of Henkel's complete portfolio of solutions that include die attach adhesives, soldering materials, and molding compounds for the semiconductor industry. Even though high lead solder packaging is currently rose exempt, there is a lot of discussion about when this status will expire, as it was not intended to be indefinite. In fact, the objective of the EU was always to eliminate lead altogether. Depending on the interpretation of the legislation, current exemptions will expire in less than five years. For you, this means you'll need an at-the-ready replacement long before the five-year mark. While many electronics firms are evaluating replacement materials now, others are playing the odds and betting on further extensions. Unfortunately, this will likely be at the expense of their future competitiveness. Currently, Section 7A of the ROHS documentation allows for an exemption of any high lead alloy that is more than 85% lead by weight. But this is due to be phased out by June 30, 2013. The future wording, which will be introduced at about the same time, exempts leaded solder and flip chip materials and dye packages. This is because they are encapsulated within a protective shell from which the lead isn't free to be released. The advantage of DA100 is that it gives you, the customer, the ability to use the same flux family with both high lead and lead free solder alloys. Simply put, you can use high lead materials available today and come 2013, transition to lead free alloys without changing your flux medium, thus making your lead free transition that much easier. DA100 has been designed for the passive and discrete component market primarily for high power devices such as TO220s. These devices predominantly use soldering processes to attach the die to metal lead frames. Typical high power applications for high lead solders include automotive, lighting, and power transformers. While several low-power discrete devices employ conductive adhesives instead of solder, those that require high power rely on solder, largely because of its incomparable thermal and electrical properties. Conductive adhesives have come a long way in terms of electrical current carrying capacity and thermal electrical performance. However, they still are not as effective as a full metallic interconnect. Solder is necessary to carry the current and thermal loads required of high power devices. In terms of discrete packages, there are three leading die to substrate attachment processes. Die attach adhesive film, die attach paste, and die attach solder. The integrity of the die substrate interconnect is critical as it carries both the thermal and electrical loads.
Dye-attached films are available in both conductive and non-conductive varieties and are more commonly used in low-power or logic device applications. Dye-attached paste adhesives are also available in both conductive and non-conductive varieties and offer reduced cost as compared to dye-attached film materials. But solder materials are arguably the lowest cost solution with the most superior thermal and electrical performance. Henkel's DA100 delivers reliability and cost advantage in a low voiding flux formulation with outstanding cleanability and dispensability. Solder materials come in several formats, such as preforms, solid wire, and solder paste. For performance and production advantages, solder paste is the preferred solution. When compared to adhesives, solder is advantageous for its superior thermal and electrical performance, as well as its lower cost. That's not to say solder is the perfect solution for everything. It isn't. When using larger packages and larger dye, solder induced stress is a problem due to CTE mismatches, so other materials may be more appropriate. However, for smaller packages, floating dye is of particular concern because of possible poor wetting. But that's why we've developed DA100 to overcome this issue and deliver a material that has excellent wetting on a range of metallic surfaces, thus eliminating floating altogether. The result? Enhanced reliability because of better intermetallic bonding. And with DA100, these advantages are available in both high lead and lead free solder alloys. DA100 is compatible with both high lead and non lead solder alloys. Because the material is mixed in a vacuum environment, air is eliminated from the packaging. This ensures dot to dot dispense consistency and helps do away with voiding problems. What's more, DA100 has a long abandon time, enabling production pauses without adversely impacting material integrity. No matter how clean the surface, any metal will form an oxide when it touches the atmosphere, which impedes soldering and can lead to hot spots and failures. Good flux systems, like DA100, will eliminate these concerns. In reflow without dye, the flux will spread out over the pad first, in front of the solder, cleaning the surface. This process not only cleans, but also aids in the capillary flow of the solder. Here, without the dye, you can clearly see that the solder does not slump. The benefit of this is that the material won't allow the dye to float, therefore preventing skewing. In reflow with dye, the flux initially flows underneath the dye in all directions, which cleans the dye pad and assists in the capillary flow of the solder. As the flux reaches the edge of the dye, you can see it evaporate. The flux leading the solder in this way helps prevent any intermetallic voiding. As the solder melts and flows to the edges of the dye, both self-alignment and self-filleting occur. The surface tension of the solder is what helps align the dye. Advanced formulation techniques and the outstanding activity of DA100 ensures extremely low voiding. Actually, DA100 has consistently shown less than 5% voids, a far cry from the industry's accepted average of close to 20%. Post-reflow, you need to worry about two things. Cleaning the flux away and minimizing the voiding within the solder joint, including the intermetallic bond. DA100 is the solution for both these concerns. DA100's cleanability is outstanding and has been tested across a wide variety of solvents. Unlike other products that leave residues and cause discoloration and corrosion, DA100 comes off clean. In terms of reliability, DA100 meets or exceeds industry requirements for both void instances and has been classified as ROL0 by JSTANDARD 004A. DA100 offers a number of advantages. The low viscosity of this product allows for very small, very consistent dots and increases throughput threefold, which lowers customer costs. Voids can lead to decreased electrical and thermal conductivity and imminent mechanical failure. DA100 is vacuum mixed to eliminate voids in the syringe, ensuring consistent dots. Low voiding allows for better thermal and electrical performance, which in turn improves package reliability. 
The Flux is very robust, and this is the only known market-ready product suitable for both high lead and lead-free systems. DA100 is easy to store. Users don't have to worry about hard-to-meet storage specifications, and DA100 has a demonstrated frozen storage period of 12 months. Competitive products can be more difficult to clean and may lead to the use of harsher cleaning chemistries or methods. DA100 does not tarnish and is easily removed with standard cleaning techniques. If you want a flux that can adapt to your processes, both for today's and tomorrow's requirements, look no further than DA100. For cleanability, reliability, dispensability, and exceptionally low voiding, all in a drop-in replacement formula, choose Multicore DA100. For more information on DA100, contact your local Henkel sales or technical support representative. All information provided here today is also supported by a full range of documentation and is available by request.